So tell me about that. So is that is that only does meaning only get created when you're interacting with uh, the environment? Or? No, no. Let me let me give you another example. There's a there's a there's an architect, uh, a Danish architect, Bjark Ingels, that got the commission to do a power plant in Copenhagen, and the and the, and the assignment was that we're going to take make a building that the trash trucks come, dump the trash, we process the trash, turn it into energy, and release steam only. It's the cleanest power plant in Europe. And so there was an RFP for uh, architects to respond to, to that, to building form. Now, obviously, the most, uh, the, you'd think a utilitarian type of building, that'd just be a big box with, with a smokestack that comes out the side or the top or whatever. But Bjarke Ingels came up with the idea he said, you know, we get a lot of snow in in, Copen- in uh, Denmark, but we don't have any mountains, so people can't go skiing. They have to go across the over to Sweden to go ski- to go skiing. So he proposed, take the power plant building, instead of it being a big box, you take it out have, so it has a high end and a low end, and you turn it into a ski resort. It was that big. And so the way that building works is you, you go and you can go to up an elevator and you can go skiing down the side of the building until you get to the bottom. <laughs> so he's got two things for one. Now there's an important thing. There's a meaningful thing. And the other thing he did with it, it just so that everybody would know that, that that their power is being processed in a clean way or it's, or it's they, they did a thing where the smokestack, the smoke, the, the steam that comes out instead of just coming out, they save the steam and when, there's, when they've processed one ton of trash into energy, it emits a smoke ring that comes out the top. So everybody goes, "Oh, we just made another ton of tra- uh, ton of energy, uh, you know, got rid of a ton of trash and made made x, oh, wow. x amount of energy." You know, now that's pretty cool, don't you think? To have a building that can do that? It's not just a building that sits there and has a function. It's a building that speaks to other other things. Have you had clients that uh, didn't know that you could impart meaning into their into their projects that that ultimately you you've been able to do it? Uh, yes, yes, I have. I uh, I had a project where a the owner was also a builder, and he uh, they wanted to do a room addition out the side of their house, but there was a big cherry tree out there, and they didn't. Oh, want this to is kill, great! Yeah. They didn't want to kill the cherry tree, you know, because they really liked it. But it got a disease and died, so he took it and cut it, had it cut down, and had a uh, portable uh, sawmill come and saw it into lumber. And he dried it and everything. And so we took the cherry wood. He said, I want to take this cherry wood and incorporate it into the design. So what I did was, you know, we took it inside. We, we made a fireplace mantle. We made trusses. We made, we made cabinets for his kids to keep their uh, toys in and, and stuff like that. So now the, the building has a certain re- meaning for him. You know, they, they're, they're cherry tree still there. It's not alive anymore, but it's still there. Preserved maybe for longer than it would have been. Preserved forever, you know, and it sits on the same place that the cherry tree was, you know. So they really liked that. When I I explained that to them, they they thought, oh, that is so cool. 